guys, it's Liz from Eating Vegan Simplified. So today I'm working on my Thanksgiving menu, and if you're looking for some side dishes that are really going to be quick and easy with like some very limited ingredients, this one is going to be perfect for you. It's barley, and it's butternut squash, and um, mushroom, and nutritional yeast. That's really it, right? Maybe some salt and pepper or whatever. I'm not using oil because I'm trying to not use oil, so um, I, I started by just, I diced up this butternut squash. If you really want to save some time, buy it already diced because it's not really too easy to dice up. But I had one, so I said, you know, I don't want to waste it if I did dice it. Otherwise, sometimes I get lazy. And if you see it's starting to stick a little bit, put a little water, okay? Do some water. Um, you can use broth instead of water. That's a nice flavor, too. Um, just using water today. And so the recipe, you know, is one that you could use oil if you're somebody not avoiding oil. I'm trying to do less oil and hopefully eventually no oil. That would be very nice if I could get there. So you have to kind of keep these in how long? I don't know, until it's tender. I guess it depends how small you cut these up. Um, so I cut them up this size. So it could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, I don't know. So I would say, you know, fork, this is the way to go. You stick it in. If, if it's like, it's going in, but it, to me, it's not like it should go in really super easy. Um, so, you know, it's kind of almost there, but not quite there. Yeah. I'm going to just let it go for another couple of minutes. Um, and then when that's done, I will add some other ingredients, my mushrooms and stuff. Um, so I got some barley and I cooked that. Um, I got the regular kind of barley, which took a while to kind of cook in a, in a pot and simmer. But they have quick cooked barley that you can get. I got pearl barley that I got in bulk, you know. So that's the kind I'm using. I really like barley. It's a nice flavor, kind of a nutty flavor for me. Um, you see, this really is working fine with no oil. I just kind of wanted to point that out because, um, you know, I'm somebody who always used to think that I needed oil for everything, but I, I don't necessarily. Just have a little, you know, just kind of like a bottle of water that I poured in a glass. It's pretty good. I think it's, it's getting to the point. Yeah, see this? It's really better. Okay. So I'm going to add my mushrooms. I'm going to slice that mushroom while I cut the uh, butternut squash. Oh dear. Uh, while I cut the butternut squash, I did not cut the mushroom. Yeah, I can't cut everything. Okay, and so you want to saute these mushrooms, saute pretty quickly. I think you could use a little more water to help it along. And um, you could saute, you know, you could even caramelize onions in water or broth. So anyways, no onions in this recipe, by the way. So this is, like I said, I think for Thanksgiving, this would be a, a really nice side. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to make it on Thanksgiving. Okay. So just let that go for a minute. Um, and once that kind of happens, maybe three minutes or so, um, then, or until it looks the way you want it to look, you know, consistency. Then we're going to put in the nutritional yeast. The salt and pepper, if you want salt and pepper. If you're avoiding it, don't put it in. And here's the barley, guys. I, I uh, did this, and I'm going to put some in, in a bowl, okay? So when it's done, I'll be able to just add some on top. Put as much or as little as you want. If you're having it as an entree, then, you know, you want to put more, okay? So there it is. So this is the barley that I cooked. And then when this is done, it's going to go on top. So um, it'll start to kind of break down. This is a really nice whole food kind of, kind of recipe, you know? Always the best kind. Food that doesn't come with a label on it, right? Always the best kind. I think nutrition yeast definitely had a label on it, if I think about it, but uh, other than that, everything else did not. Nutritional yeast kind of gives it like a cheesy kind of flavor, so I don't know, I kind of like it. 
um, yeah, it's definitely getting better. Uh, I'm going to add the nutritional yeast and just kind of let it continue to cook with this on it. This is like a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. You know, and if you are not a nutritional yeast fan, or I know in some countries or parts of the country it's not so easy to get, then uh, use a different seasoning. You know, maybe use some garlic or something like that. You know, garlic is good in everything, right? So you just use whatever you want. So for me, I like my mushrooms to be a little bit more sort of cooked down. So I would say once the liquid is gone, then we would be good. It happens pretty quick. I have it on kind of a high flame, so it's going to happen pretty quickly, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get all my recipes together for Thanksgiving. It's going to be at my house. There will be no turkey by me. My daughter-in-law might bring some. She is a meat eater. I'm going to allow that, but uh, it's not what I'm going to eat. Um, there's so many things that are fabulous to eat for Thanksgiving. I don't see why you need to eat that, but hey, that's just my opinion. Okay. So it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm going to put it on top of a barley in a dish. Looks nice, right? And it's simple and it tastes good. And um, there you have it. So enjoy. I hope you love it. I hope you try it on Thanksgiving. And um, happy cooking, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe below, okay? And if you're looking for a written version of this recipe, you can find it below, right next to the subscribe button, okay? Tell your friends. Happy cooking.